New tonight, new details about last Friday's deadly school bus crash on State Highway 21. Court documents show the driver of the cement truck that swerved into the school bus carrying pre-kindergarten students admitted to using cocaine the morning of the crash. Now an attorney for one of the children who was on that bus is calling for accountability. Here's KVU's Ford Sanders. Two dead and more than 50 others sent to local hospitals. It's the aftermath following a cement truck crashing into a school bus full of Tom Green Elementary students. So everyone is grieving and, um, and or in shock. Those words from Hayes CISD Superintendent Dr. Eric Wright on Monday. Thursday, KVU obtained court documents detailing that the driver of the cement truck told DPS he'd taken cocaine the morning of the incident and was running on three hours of sleep. The driver also admitted to using marijuana the night before. It's bad enough to have a crash that happens, but to learn that it happened because of completely preventable, avoidable factors uh, really makes you angry. Attorney Trey Gober represents one of the families whose child was injured. He says even though the details coming out now are frustrating to hear, it's promising to see this case being dealt with swiftly. We're grateful the fact that there's been an immediate serious criminal investigation on the case. That'll help deter future uh, similar crashes, but also just helping by pursuing these civil claims. Noting his young clients doing the best he can after such a terrifying ordeal. They're out of the hospital. Uh, they're recovering, uh, shaken up, uh, mental as well as physical injuries. Uh, the family is grateful uh, that their child isn't more injured than they are. And at this point, KVU is not naming the driver of the cement truck because that person has not been charged with a crime. But Texas DPS tells us this is still an ongoing investigation.